Hey, yo, Daniel, this motherfucker hard, my boy. Me and my killers don't wanna be actors. Me and my killers don't wanna be actors. They wanna shoot shit, they wanna be rappers. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Little Man Reacts, and today I got a request to do some ICP clips on the Howard Stern Show. So the first one we're going to jump right into, guys, is going to be ICP versus the director. I don't know what it's about at all, but somebody uh, suggested that I should check out these clippings. So uh, I'm going to jump into this one. It's 4 minutes, 33 seconds. So I'm probably not going to pause any. We're just going to watch it together. I'll tell you what I think at the end. Before we do, like, comment, subscribe down below. You already know. Let's go, guys. Insane Clown Posse is here. Their new movie, Big Money Hustlers. This is no way a new movie. Is available in stores. That's not a movie if it's available. <clears throat> well, it, it looks like a movie. <laughs> I, I watched some of it. It's got to be in a movie theater first. Well, come on. That's your definition of a movie. <laughs> They're, they're glad they just got anything on film. <laughs> look at the guys. They look great. They look great. <laughs> oh, new hair. New hair. Oh, and Shaggy Too Dope. Shaggy Too Dope dyed his hair orange. <laughs> Looks great. You guys uh, have made history once again. Not too many rock stars get to do their own movie. You guys following the footsteps of Elvis and the Beatles. <laughs> this is just our first movie of many multi, uh, what do you call a hit movie? Uh, blockbuster? There, there you, you go. go. Blockbuster <laughs> smash hit. And That's you guys right. are no fags because uh, I saw Shaggy 2 Dope banging in the movie, and it looks real to me. That's, that's my real-life girlfriend. What is she, about 500 pounds? Uh, I'm going to guess... I'm a guess uh, on your part, Howard, she's <laughs> merely 485. Is she 400 pounds, I mean, seriously? If I had to guess, I'd, I'd say a good, like, uh, a good Abraham. Somewhere <laughs> right, a good there. five bills. Somewhere around there. Now, what is going on here? Because we were contacted by the director of the movie. He's mad at you guys. He wants to come in here and to confront you guys. Uh, he claims he hasn't gotten paid. See, uh, well, he ain't getting paid from us, so I don't know what he wants to come in here and get paid from me for. That has to do with my record company. Right. I ain't got nothing to do with I get paid. That's all well, I Well, let's care tell about. him that. Yeah. Sure. All right, bring him in. This is the director of the Insane Clown Posse movie. His name is John... Cafiero. Is he really the director? Really? Yeah, yep. he is the director, and that is his wife, I guess. You brought in your wife because you wanted what? We produced the film together. Suzanne and I produced the film together. And why would you be mad at Insane Clown I'm Posse? Not, I'm not mad at them <clears throat> for not getting paid. Hold up. This and you know, you want to come on my time on the Howard Stern Show right. and bitch about not getting paid. No, I'm not here to bitch about not getting paid. But well, what are you bitching about? What are you here to bitch about? about? Uh, uh, this is what my I want, spotlight. No, what I want no to this know. is my time. I want to know what's up that I'm a phone call you. couldn't have covered. Well, you, you changed gotta come your number. Out here I can't reach you and Alex won't return time. Well, then tell us my what you told us you had a problem. Get the hell out of my... This is my time. You don't want me to talk, Joe. You don't want me to... But you don't have a beef. What is your beef? I do, if you let me say it. Right now, there's something... You guys better say it because right I'm, trying, I'm getting mad. What have they done wrong? They told people that I delayed the release of the film because I was trying to negotiate to get a higher salary. I never received any salary at all. Let me ask you a question, stage. John. Let me just cut you off. Let me ask you a question. How much money do we pull out of our bank accounts and give to you for the movie? Psychopath. You didn't give it to us. You you gave, gave it to, it to the movie. How much money did we give to the movie? You put $110,000 of Thank money you. Get out of here. You know, how would you badmouth them? So they put up 100. How many people would put up 110000 of their own money and for you a movie? coming in here yeah, bitching about you not getting is, paid. Get the I'm hell out of here. I'm bitching about me not getting paid. I'm bitching about you guys lying about me. How Get could you say? Get the hell out of here. What do you want from them? What do you want from them? I kind of thought, like, maybe you guys would be like, hey, look, you know, maybe we said some stupid things, but we didn't. John right, Campiero, cool. I'm looking you right in your eyes. Look at me. I'm looking I right have at you. no clue in hell what you're talking about. Do you want me to send you a copy of the tape of your death threat? I'm sure I made you a death threat. I'll make another one. I'll put a bullet right between and your this eyes. this is the day after his manager told me, we, we got your back. You know, we think that this is wrong. <laughs> What you're talking about? I swear to God, you came out here at four in the morning. What time is it? Quarter to eight in New York. That, you know, I, I, that's so early. You you got up, you put your fresh fiery T-shirt on. The 
piss us. This is worse than the Jews yeah, and the Arabs. There was a point where the <laughs> film guys do have talent. You know that I believed in you. I mean, all right, fine. All right, cool. All right, we're done. Did insane clown posse attempt to have sex with your wife at any time during the filming of this? No, there wasn't? All right, all right. Cool. Okay. Get out of here. Nice ponytail. Peace. <laughs> all right. Peace. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes. Crying yeah. about something, and one out the other. Trying to steal my prop. Trying to steal our heat. Almost had to have my friend here see him. All right, guys. Um, I don't know if that was real or if that not was not real. Um, if it was. I kind of felt that Jay kind of disrespected that guy a little bit. He should have let that guy at least speak his mind. Um, I felt that he kind of put on a show by saying this is my airtime. He should have at least let the guy say what he had to say. And then he could have told him, you know, hey, screw off, man. This was this and this was that. I don't agree with, you know, the guy with the flame shirt. and You know, the director, I don't agree with him. And I'm not dissing Jay, but I felt like he let... His ego kind of went really big in that spot, and he just kind of was belittling that guy. Big Money Hustles was a good movie. I definitely enjoyed it. I know you guys enjoyed it. Uh, so I kind of wanted to hear what he said, man, but he kind of cut him off. I hate when people do that. I hate when people do that, definitely. Um, show some respect, unless there was something that was majorly. If it was something that was so bad, then there ain't no need for no conversation. You know what I mean? But... um. If you guys know any details, let me know. Was Jay in the right by uh, cutting this dude off every time this dude was trying to say something? Or was Jay in the wrong by he should have given this guy a chance? Let me know down in the comments, guys. And we'll do more of these if you like this. We didn't pause any because we both watched it together. I know a lot of people want to say, hey, if, we, if you're just going to watch it, I could have watched it by myself. But then you can do that. You can do that. You ain't got to come here. But you know what it is. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys down in the comments. Where are we going next, guys?